It was the morning after my debut against Leeds, and I had mixed feelings. I had received man of the match for my performance, but the team had been destroyed 6-0. Rio Ferdinand marked me for most of the match and asked me for my shirt at the final whistle, which made me feel I had arrived as a professional footballer. Later the next day, though, I was brought back down to earth with a bang. Dave Bassett and Mickey Adams were appointed as the new management staff the day after the Leeds game. The squad trained for the first time with the new managers looking on and after the session I was asked by Dave Bassett to come to his office for a chat. Still floating high from my debut performance, thoughts filled my mind on what was in store for me. It's Chelsea on Saturday at Stamford Bridge, he's going to tell me I'm starting or we watched you play last evening, you were great or something along those lines. But what he actually said couldn't have deflated me any quicker. And once again, it taught me how quickly things in football can change. Matty, we watched you play against Leeds last night and thought you were our best player. But we still think it's too soon for you to play regular Premier League football. And just like that, my first team experience at Leicester City was over. And a few short weeks later, I was sent on loan to Mansfield in League Two. Things were very different at Mansfield. I had come through the ranks at a top club in Leicester City, so it was a huge shock to the system when I was told to clean my own boots, wash my own kit after training and games, and lunch? What lunch? Here's where we all get our lunch after training. I thought. But very quickly I realised to get where I wanted to be in football, it would only be my performances on the pitch that could change my current situation. So I cleaned my own boots, washed my kit, ate lunch here instead of here and worked on my game daily like a man possessed. In truth, Mansfield was great for me. I applied myself in every game. The experience gave me more confidence and toughened me up, mentally and physically. I was creating goals, turning in man of the match performances most games, and even scored my first league goal against Swansea. By this time, Leicester was still languishing at the foot of the Premier League table and two months short of my loan agreement finishing, Dave Bassett recalled me from loan and said, I think you're ready for the Premier League now. I returned to Leicester and went straight into the first team. I played the next 15 games on the bounce, picking up MOM awards, star player shout outs in the newspapers and I won Young Player of the Year from the club the fans and the local press. There was one remaining Premier League fixture before the end of the season and it was a big one. Leicester had already been relegated but this proved to be a very significant game for the club. It was to be the last ever game at Filbert Street, Leicester's home since 1891. People were stating before the game how great it would be for a local boy and lifelong fan of the club to score the last ever goal at Filbert Street. And in all honesty, I hadn't thought about it once. But thankfully, all went to plan. <laughs> 